I'm Jason Hoffman, and my goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. The Yolobox Pro, built on the Android operating system with specifications you would expect from an Android device. So how does it do everything that's required to handle all that goes on in a live stream? If you've taken the time to watch other reviews of the Yolobox Pro on YouTube, you can see that the user experience is top notch when you get into streaming with this device. The ability to run those HDMI inputs in or USB input, to be able to have a variety of cameras, to be able to run pre-roll, overlays, images, scoreboards, all of that is what Yolo Live has put together as a great package. Here's what folks might leave out of their reviews that we can cover today. Three things that I think make the Yolobox Pro so incredibly capable of handling your live stream needs. First of all, it's built on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 chip. Now this chip is an eight core design, four of which are high capacity, four of which are power saving, and they can both be used at the same time. It's going to have an Adreno 512 GPU, which supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and LTE. There are newer Snapdragon processors, but Qualcomm seems to have focused their upgrades since this chip more on the GPU speed and the wireless abilities of those chips. The processing power has not increased that much in the current generation. Doing a quick internet search, I find the application for this processor to be in industrial tablets. The second place I find this device to be so capable in its design is in its ability to handle video with three HDMI ends, a USB in, also a USB-C input that can take a SSD drive for your local video file, for your pre-roll files. That's important in handling video as well. It's going to have HDMI out if you want to use a monitor for a bigger view of what you're working on its video input capability is at 720 or 1080 and its streaming ability is 540 720 or 1080 so with the chip plus the video capabilities that it has knowing that we can only stream at 1080 maximum at any platform we have at this point this device is beginning to look like a package that is as good as everybody says that it is. The third thing that I see that makes this so incredibly capable is its network handling ability. With the combination of Wi-Fi, LTE, and Ethernet to hardwire anything, we're gonna have a rock solid streaming platform. The times that I see people struggling to stream with this device, it almost always has to do with their network connection. If we rely totally on the SIM card using LTE only to stream, we've introduced a limit that may cause our stream to fail. If we rely totally on Wi-Fi, if that Wi-Fi router or that Wi-Fi signal is crowded, congested, we've introduced a limit that may cause our stream to fail. When we can combine or when we can hardwire and just use Ethernet, then we've done a better job of removing our limits because our upload capability matches the rest of this design. If I were looking to take end of the year dollars and invest it somewhere in my live streams, this is one of the places I would seriously consider spending money.